And more, it is a great personal pleasure and honor for me to introduce New York City's very own ringmaster. So ladies and gentlemen, from the greatest show on earth to the mayor of the greatest city on earth, the Honorable Rudolph Giuliani. Good morning. I'm not going to touch that line about being a ringmaster. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here celebrating Ringling Brothers' 125th uh, anniversary. 125 years ago, in 1870, New York City was the world capital of entertainment, fun, excitement, and Ringling Brothers was the greatest show on earth. In politics, Boss Tweed reigned supreme as both New York City's Republican Mayor A. Oakley Hall and New York State's Democratic Governor John Thompson Hoffman owed their offices to Boss Tweed and Tammany Hall. St. Patrick's Cathedral was only half finished in 1870. Construction of the Brooklyn Bridge had just begun and rag picker was an occupation that was licensed by the city. Well, Boss Tweed died in jail in 1878. St. Patrick's Cathedral and the Brooklyn Bridge are now two of our cities and the world's most renowned structures. And I don't think we uh, license rag pickers any longer. But New York City is still the world capital of entertainment, fun and excitement. And Ringling Brothers is certainly still the greatest show on earth. And that's 125 years later. That's quite a run. As a young boy, I uh, loved the circus. And Andrew and Caroline have that same sense of awe and anticipation when Ringling Brothers comes to town. I'd like to thank Ringling Brothers for bringing so much excitement and joy to the children of all ages in this city. Uh, they've really helped very, very much improve the quality of life in this city for 125 years and for confirming what we already knew. When you've got something special to celebrate, like this greatest show on earth, there is no better place to celebrate it than in the greatest city in the world, New York City. Thank you for coming to the big time and bringing the big time to us.